The rich kid going on a skint holiday is 19-year-old Hattie from Hemel Hempstead. My dad funds my lifestyle. Versace. More Versace. I absolutely love Versace. I've never had to keep track of money. One thing I couldn't live without in my wardrobe is probably my shoes, because they're like my babies. I absolutely love them. And her love affair with luxury all adds up. On average, every month, I'm spending probably around 500 to 1,000 pounds on clothes, makeup. <laughs> but it's on lavish five-star holidays where Hattie and her family really splash the cash. For our holidays, usually, there isn't a budget that I know of. I started skiing when I was four. It was literally like my second home. I absolutely loved Sri Lanka. I loved also Florida, Orlando. I used to go there every year. Um, the Maldives this year, that was amazing. We were like swimming with stingrays, with sharks. Hello. This? Before she tests the waters on a new type of holiday, Hattie's boyfriend Cameron is visiting her £1.8 million home. So tell me more about this holiday you're going on then. Um, I don't really know much about it. Don't know where I'm going, don't know what I'm doing. The worst case scenario could be camping. No, I can imagine you doing camping, you know? Makeup, mm. you don't like getting dirty, sleeping out, you don't like bugs, not a fan of bad smells. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> 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 I... I hate the outdoors. For their first ever family holiday, the Sparks have chosen two nights going back to basics at a wild camping site. I know we need to get these wheelbarrows to take all our stuff down. So, do you want to help me get some? Yep. Can we get a couple? And unlike Hattie's usual luxury locations, there's not a porter in sight. We've got lots of stuff, haven't we? Right, let's go. Come on, girls. I don't suppose this is how you normally start your holiday. No, definitely not. It's hard work. <laughs> it's a lot different to what I'm used to because I'm used to the staff at the hotels taking my bags and putting them in my room. Prices at Durnwood Farm go up to £552 for a luxury glamping break, but all the Sparks can afford is £20 a night for a patch of grass. We're going to go here. We're going to put our tents up right here. Oh, yeah, that's the toilet. Oh, that's handy, not too far away. Yeah. Are the Maldives looking a little less boring right about now, Hattie? We can put yours either here, maybe here. This would be all right, wouldn't it? This is our bad boy. Have you pitched your own tent before? No. It's part of the experience. Oh, yeah. Their instructions. Spare pig. When I go on holiday, I usually don't have to do anything. So, yeah. Isn't it part of the fun? It <laughs> is, indeed. I'm a bit stressed by right now. I'd rather have a bed than be sleeping on the ground. I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed, I think. Oh, I've got your pins trapped. on that side, so put yours in. Ideally, I would rather be in a hot country. There's sun, the sea, compared to rain, and sleeping in a tent. But yeah. Oh my god. I need strength. After struggling with her tent for almost half an hour, the basics of camping are still evading Hattie. Knock, knock. I can't open it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't reach. This is a, a big deal for us, because this is actually our first proper holiday all together as a family. Like, so I used to go camping when I was younger. So did Louise. And we've both got quite fond memories of that. So it just seemed like the right sort of thing to take them to on the, like, as a first holiday, you know? Just, I just hope that they get, like, the sort of, the same sort of memories we did. But having been on the campsite for less than an hour, Hattie's already feeling overwhelmed. Are you finding everything all right? Yeah, I mean, it was a shock to me. Oh, at really? At first, yeah. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, it's different. You'll be all right, or is it just is it just something that you're not used to, kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you'll be fine. If, if if you're worried about anything, just just ask. It's it's fine. We'll we'll uh, it'll be sort fine. It out. It'll be fine. Yeah, there's no need to, no need to be upset. It's fine. Probably not the best time for the rain to start coming. <laughs> so you're right. Yeah. Perhaps a bit dramatic. Oh, we better get things moving. Oh. I'm not laughing right now. I hate the rain. It's not what I had in mind. I love rain, I love rain. As the weather takes a turn for the worse, the new experience all proves too much. It has surprised me. I thought I would have, like, been able to handle more stuff than this. Come in here and listen to it, Chloe. It's definitely a strange concept to be upset on holiday, but, but if it's not... It's not a holiday. It's just like, how do people have fun doing this? It might take a little bit of time. I hope it's you're okay. right with that. Yeah. <laughs> well, watch Kettle Never Boils, Hattie. OK, what about this? <laughs> Sausages. And? Pasta. Pasta. Yeah. Sound good? Has yeah. the budget dinner left Hattie lost for words? Watch your shoes. Look, I don't want you to get any uh, any sparks off of that onto them. You well, you can't help but notice those. They <laughs> must cost a fortune. <laughs> These are around seven or eight hundred pounds. Wow. <laughs> and you're wearing them in a field. I literally don't know what. To do you do want that. some plastic bags <laughs> for those? <laughs> what you're wearing is five times more expensive than my whole wardrobe. <laughs> For Pete and Louise, whose £210 holiday was less than a third of the price of Hattie's trainers, it's a difficult pill to swallow. Do you live at home with parents? Yeah. So they didn't pay them any rent? No. And at the moment, because I'm working, um, and I have to get the train and the tube, it's, like, quite a lot of money. Um, they're, like, giving me a £500 monthly allowance to pay for... For your travel and stuff? My travel and oh. stuff, mm. yeah. So then the money that I earn is just for, like, and like anything that I want to buy myself. Oh. Yeah. But I'm trying to save. I'm trying to Try. save. <laughs> it's yeah. hard. It's hard, It is it? hard. Because you see something that you want, and then I just... I'm one of those people that I just buy it. Yeah. yeah that I don't... I don't... Yeah, I don't think about what I do. Yeah. With night fallen, grubs up. To save her £40 daily budget, Louise has cooked food for five people using supplies from home. It's a stark contrast with Hattie's spending. It's, uh, it's quite tough, actually, to know that for some people it's, it is just that easy. How much would we love to just be in that position where we could just have that disposable income? Mm. Yeah. It's like, oh, I wish I could do that. But yeah. We dealt our own hands, aren't we? It's a little bit uncomfortable, to be honest. Oh, I really wish we could spend money like that. It'd be amazing. Think about the extra things that we could get for the kids. It was quite, like, hard. She found it upsetting what I spent my money on. Um, but I guess she just has to think about it in a different perspective because I don't have certain stuff to think about at the moment. While Pete and Louise prepare to sleep on the evening's events, Hattie's got a different issue on her mind. Oh, uh, what is that? Oh, my bag. <gasps> I really hate... Bug. Grim. And the extra guests mean it'll be a long three days ahead. I'd like to think that I will last the whole holiday, 
Um, but we will see what happens, I think.